Hey there folks, I'm meteorologist Cassie Knoll and our Tuesday will be, yes, hot and humid just like our Monday was and we expect to once again have that slightly stronger westerly wind blow. That should help to kick the sea breeze in a little bit earlier than it typically would which should take the majority of the shower and thunderstorm activity once again well inland with it later this afternoon. Highs today will be in the lower to middle 90s across the entire area and with all that humidity when you factor that in it actually feels more like the triple digits outside and that's what we're expecting this afternoon. When you have those kind of heat indices you need to prepare for that. Make sure you drink plenty of water, stay hydrated today if you're doing anything outdoors and also if you feel yourself begin to be faint or feel like you're being affected by the heat, take a break. Head indoors, head inside the AC, take some time to cool off. As I said, it's going to be very warm and humid and feeling more like the triple digits today across the Sun Coast. Now as far as the tropics go, we do have a couple waves out here in the Atlantic that we're keeping our eyes on. Nothing imminently going to be developing across the area. And we do still have tropical depression number two. It's currently located over northern Guatemala. It's moving to the west-northwest at around 8 miles per hour or so, and winds are currently sustained around 30 miles per hour. It's going to continue that general motion through the day today and could possibly reemerge out over the Bay of Campeche late tomorrow and into Thursday. That would be its next best window of opportunity to possibly strengthen, but again, this system will not be affecting the Sun Coast. Our weather, however, this week will begin to change. Over the last couple of days, we've seen those showers and thunderstorms mainly well inland, but as we go into the day on Friday, we're going to see those winds shifting to be more out of the southeast, which will help keep that sea breeze closer to the coast during the afternoon hours, and therefore we'll have higher rain chances across the area as we get into the end of our week and into the weekend as well. And remember, you can tune in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to SNN Local News on Verizon Fios Channel 26 or Comcast Channels 6 in Sarasota County and 11 in Charlotte County.